not quite sure how I want to how I want to approach this, but um, I want to. Uh, some might call me a hoarder. Some might call it collecting, but uh, I wanted to um, give these guys something fun to to watch and to check out with uh, what's going on since we're kind of stuck at home right now. So um, here is my SRT4 accumulation of parts and cars. Uh, I'm actually down on a bunch of stuff right now, but we'll show you this here. So. This is kind of a project car that I just recently purchased. Um, this this one is in need of a drivetrain and having the interior cleaned up. Um, possible big turbo build. Maybe we'll actually get to do some videos on this on the channel. Um, like I said, it was sitting for a while. We, are, we do got to go through and do some cleaning up of things and... Uh, you know simple repairs um actually a really really nice um example of an 05 it is starting to show a little bit of paint fade in a couple spots had some uh i don't know i'm assuming vinyl vinyl lines across the roof so there's that one all right now i also have this one that i purchased um it's uh 03 um yellow solar yellow clean title uh not that that matters to me um i'm actually starting to working started working on getting this one here back together oh, found a ratchet that happens sometimes when you work on a bunch of things at once so um yeah slowly working on this i have carpet that i'm going to swap out this thing needs cleaned out inside um, i did pick out some other parts here to reinstall on this um, just kind of swapping stuff out, making it over into mine, and uh, getting it ready to go. All right. So now, all right. So you've never quite seen a PT Cruiser like this. That's not the good part. Good part is this. Now, um, I'm in the process of doing some reorganization, but uh, this kind of just gives you an example of some of the parts that I have right here so I mean the best way to say this is I've tried to assemble a bunch of these cars and I've ended up you know you get cars that are just rusty and it's it's at that point now where uh, rust repair is is more uh, more cost involved than what the car is worth when you actually reassemble it so but anyway yeah i mean everything i have everything all over the place stuff is just stuff is just in a pile of mess all right so that's the that's the pt cruiser storage tour uh that will conclude the pt cruiser now i have i do have a mustang so i do have some parts for the older mustangs um i have bumper covers hoods i have some wheels here um an exhaust some doors uh just a couple odd parts out here this i had no plans for this stuff to be sitting here uh long term like this but uh that's where this stuff is so now i'll show you what we got going on inside so we have another car in here all right we're not quite sure if this one is going to live or die yet. We didn't really get a chance to go over it. Um, it looks like it might live, but it does have a lot of repair that needs to be done. And everything is just a mess in here right now. We have parts piled up everywhere. Oil on the floor, slippery spots. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So, um, this is part for the orange car. Uh, there's the orange just transmission. Here is a whole bin of engine harnesses. I mean, the stuff just the stuff just goes on and on. Um, here's some parts for the orange car build. Um, these I have bins of parts uh, all over the place here. These bins they're full of parts down here. Um, here's a bin. Let me move this back over here. Here's a bin full of. Uh, a pillar covers um here's a here's two transmissions some brackets um 
you know, here's some more parts. It's just stuff stuff's kind of a mess. Um here's here's a motor, you know, it's and that one's got a head, a ported head and cams and stuff on it. That's for that's for another build. Um yeah, I mean it just the mess goes on and on. Um and then um in here this is a spot I I uh kind of embarrassed to show because it's really a mess. But anyway, my plan is I really need to get this organized in here. So, um, how can you say that? Uh, when these guys, when these guys get to see this in here, some, some people know me, so they've got to see some of this stuff. But, uh, when you get in here and you see this, um, I, I personally think it's a mess. Some people think it's a gold mine, but, uh, you know, that somebody else's trash is somebody else's treasure. Um, no matter how it's sitting right now, it's still treasure to me. And I'm sure to some of you SRT4 guys that are definitely out here, uh, will be like, yeah, that's treasure. So here we go. This is going to be scary in here. I'm telling you. This is what we're going into here. This is very, very piled up with stuff. Um... So anyway, uh, I mean, here is a whole bunch of transmissions over here. Um, I got some Dodge Ram truck parts because I have a Dodge Ram truck. Um, you know, there's a Dodge transmission, but you know, most of these are SRT4 transmissions. There's a transfer case, um, Dodge truck uh, drive shafts, sunroofs, um, dash dashes, radiator assemblies. Um, uh, a whole bunch of uh, master cylinder and slave stuff. There's some throttle cables. I have more of that stuff out in the car, which you didn't see because you didn't. I didn't go through all that stuff. Here's brake lines for a truck. I mean, this stuff, like I said, I just kind of threw everything in here because I was working on getting that taken care of out there. If you if you go back, you can see me working on the building. Um, I tried I tried to keep stuff organized as I was putting it in here, but everything needs to come out. Um, here's some junk transmission parts that were sitting so long. Um, a whole bunch, whole giant pile of the metal coolant tubing. More intakes. More dashes. A whole giant pile of brake calibers. All right. Um, fuel pump assemblies. Coolant bottles. Um, let's try to move some of this stuff out of the way here. I have a whole bin right here. This is like all assorted vacuum lines. I mean, it's just, you take cars apart and then you get a mess and then you clean up and then you organize and then you use stuff and then somebody needs something. So then you come in and you get it out and then you can't get it put away. and. A whole bunch of uh this is all was all motor mounts battery trays um coolant pipes um alternators starters clutch pedal assemblies hood hinges you believe it i was actually looking for some hood hinges the other day but i did find them i needed an orange pair um up here you know you can see what's going on up here so i mean i got a bunch of glass there's door glass um this is a, here's an aftermarket oil cooler off of one. Um, more brackets, steering columns, you know, some of this stuff's junk. Good turbo power steering pumps. I mean, here's another good one. Look at that. That's a whole bunch of stock flywheels for stock clutches. Um, you know, this is, this is just, this is just this area. Like I said, I've been coming through here and sorting some of this stuff out. Um, a lot of the stuff that was in here the axles and the intakes and stuff. I was actually working on moving stuff out to the PT Cruiser to get more room in here to organize this in here. Uh, and that's kind of that's kind of why that happened. Here's a um, pile of gauge clusters. We kind of seen that. But like I said, you know what I mean? It's, it's car, 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 parts, parts, parts. Um, all right, well, um, I'm gonna grab the ladder and I'm gonna show you what kind of a mess I have going on up in the attic for parts. And, uh, there's still more after we're done there. There's still more. So, all right, here we go. I got, uh, 
I gotta turn on the light up here. All right, got a light mounted in here. Okay, there we go, look. Okay, um, yep, and you can kind of see the stuff. Here is side skirting, a couple center consoles, a dash cover, more side skirting. There's door panels back there on that side. There is, let me stand this out. I don't really want to climb up here. I'll do this, all right. Uh, door panels, there is, I think there's some wings over there. I have a bunch of seats back there, a couple parts for seats, a truck fender. Not right there, that's a Dodge Ram truck fender. Another center console. So, I mean, I tried to put light stuff up here. Oh, there's a couple wings. Three wings over there. Some bumper brackets. Floor mats. Just, um, just all small or lighter, lighter stuff. So that, uh, I can get up here. Uh, I had a whole, there's a whole spot back there of, uh, washer bottles too. Right there's cow covers. Tried to put that stuff over there to the side. All right, we got better get this light turned off. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to put this foam back up in here. And uh, I'm planning to get some steps, and i got to get the ceiling done. I really have to. But now I'm going to um, show you some of the other stuff that's SRT4 related that's outside yet. And, uh, well, yeah. All right, so hopefully the lighting's still decent. I, I wanted to try to do this earlier today, but I got busy. Um, I'm outside underneath the carport. Um, it's probably not the best place to store stuff, but uh, it's not bad until I get everything straightened out here. Um, I still have a lot of things I want to take care of with uh, getting stuff done here around this house. But anyway, here we go. All right, so what we have here is a giant, giant. We got uh, basically a skid of use struts, uh, rear suspensions. Uh, there's a couple knuckles here. There is a bunch of knuckles inside yet. Um, they're all just piled up here on this skid. Um, here is an engine. Here is another transmission. Here's another transmission. Here's another engine. There's an engine. Um, there's an engine short block underneath here. We have bins with mirrors. We have bins with wiring. We have bins with, oh my goodness, uh, more wiring, um, more wiring, uh, window regulators. Um, this is all turbo lines and coolant lines, oil and feed lines for, for stock turbos in that bin. Um, I got uh, two exhausts back here. Um, I mean, it is kind of, we're kind of twiddling down there. I got a pile of stuff up here on the top just uh, accumulated over winter um, from pulling off of like motors that were sitting here or uh, you know I got the stuff out of cars and a Dodge Ram truck fuel pump so <laughs> but uh, yes I mean the pile of parts is just astronomical to an extent here is uh, for road slicks that I pulled off of a car and um, I mean it just it just keeps going and going um, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it all right guys that's going to conclude uh my parts hoard and uh the cars that i have right now um if you've seen something that you liked hey give me a comment let me know um if you if you have any questions about anything that you've seen ask uh give me a thumbs up if you like seeing my parts hoard um I can make more videos um, showing you guys different things, uh, working on different cars. This, we're climbing. We are climbing. So, um, yeah, like, subscribe, share, and uh, thanks for watching.